Adults, never get into cars with strangers. Yeah, I bet that comes as a surprise to you. Especially if you're a police officer who seem to believe that they're exempt from the parameters of stranger danger. Pedophiles who stake out sweet shops and playgrounds aren't much different to police officers who stake out slip roads and dual carriageways. Both are determined to entice their prey into waiting vehicles for the same reason. To fuck them in the arse. One with a fixed penalty notice, the other with, well, I'm not even going to go in what the other will try it with, but rest assured you'll have a surprise look on your face for the rest of your formative education. Oh no, I'm, like I say, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm going to sort of prosecute you, my friend, that is the question. But Sorry. I'll just stop you because you've been committing a traffic offence. So what, on what grounds is it again that you're stopping me for? I'm stopping you because you were speeding down the dual carriageway. You were well over 70 miles an hour. I was not doing over 70 miles per hour. And what proof well, do you have that's, that that's I was what, doing that's what over you're 70 saying, my friend. That's what you're saying. Like I said to you, I'm not saying when I was going to prosecute you, sir. I was well, just stopping just, you because you were going you've really just, fast. You've just cautioned me. Yes. And you've cautioned me on yes. what grounds? I cautioned you because you were committing a well, traffic like you, offence under like the road traffic get, at 19... Well, I'd like you to get one of your supervisors down here then, or a sergeant, please. I'm not going to get a sergeant here, my yeah, friend. Yeah, because I don't... On the grounds, you can't caution me for something that you've got no proof of. Sorry, but I can't resist pausing it here to say, since when has a cop's hand been an appropriate medium to store data? Aren't they equipped with all the latest devices to indulge their obsessive compulsive addiction to information gathering? Given that data stored by the police can be requested by the subject, how exactly is this cop going to provide a copy of what was biroed onto his hand? Especially if it's in relation to his decision as to whether or not to prosecute the driver. No, I've so, got nothing recorded. That's my word so against yours, isn't I, it? At the end of the day, it's so, my word against yours. Okay, so, so have you got your driving license on you? I sir? don't have to. I can stop any car I want at any you point. You can stop, but yes, you've got I no grounds to. I'm not saying I'm prosecuting so you, sir. I want sir. your sergeant down here then. I'm not going to bring my sergeant down You have down to here. bring no, your sergeant down. I'm not, not going to bring my sergeant if down. If I ask for a sergeant, you have to bring no, a sergeant. No, I'm not going to bring a sergeant down here, my friend. Okay, That's but if you've got right, no grounds. Have you got, your, have you got your name, sir? Can I, I have your name? I don't have to reduce my name if I've not been arrested for anything. Wow. Five seven nine nine. What's your collar number? Two four two two three, sir. And your name? Just stand by. It's PC Jack Wagamaka. It's PC Jack Wagamaka. And where are you working out of? I work from Basingstoke. Stand by, mate. How do you spell that name? Would you mind sort of going onto the road because it's quite dangerous around here? Yeah, no problems. Whiskey Alpha Echo Golf Hotel Echo Mike Alpha Charlie Kilo Echo Romeo. Are you getting a sergeant down here? I'm not getting a sergeant down here. Are you okay to jump in the car, second? Your car? Uh, in the B. Damn it, who are you first? 27417, just coming over, Joe. Name? Can you come and join us in the car, please? Yeah, name. I don't have to give my name. Well, you do. I really don't. My collar number's on there, 27417. Come and jump in the car, please. I, don't, I can do it from here. I well, don't need to jump in your car. Do you come in the car so I can do a roadside breath test? You can do a roadside breast test here at the roadside. Can you come in the car, please? Have you got your driving license? Yeah, I've got my driving license. Can I see your license, please? Yeah, I'll give you a license. Thank you. Jack, have you got a trigger? So, just why are the police so obsessed with luring road users into police vehicles, despite, short of arrest, there being no obligation to do so, even when being asked to give a specimen of breath? The answer's simple. It gives the police a massive advantage over the detainee. Once inside, people will do or say whatever it takes to exit that police vehicle as quickly as possible. To any passers-by, you are showcased as the evil villain. Embarrassment and humiliation can make for loose tongues. And because so many people believe that cop reality shows are a true reflection of policing in this country, almost everyone seems to believe that police vehicles have cameras inside them. They don't. Trust me, if they did the police would not be inviting you into the back of them. Worse still, if you complain later on that you were falsely imprisoned, you'll be rebuffed on the basis that you consented to entering the vehicle, even where the police deliberately mislead you into believing that you're obliged to do so. Of course, they'll never inform you of your right not to enter their vehicle because the police have no interest in respecting your civil rights, especially where your right not to do something 
will make it harder for them to get a roadside confession and an easy conviction. I'm going to go down this route now of doing all of the breath tests and everything. What's the reason for the breath test anyway? Because you committed a moving traffic offence, so therefore when part of the road traffic act 1988 to take a sample of breath. If you refuse or fail to provide, then you will be arrested. Oh, look at him. It's getting really short. Hang on, don't start grabbing Nothing. stuff. I'll we give it to you when I'm ready to give it okay. to you. This is brilliant. So we've got a stroppy one here. That's stroppy also. He's, he's getting aggressive because he's, got, he's got a taser. Uh, at what point have I mentioned it here as a user? Start getting all forceful and in my face. Mm -hmm. well, uh, so if, it is good enough. It's a traffic offence if you go through the full procedure. He's, um, yeah, yeah. He's I've, not, I've not actually admitted to committing any offence. It doesn't so. matter when you, you admit You've got no not. video evidence. I'm going to love taking you guys to the cleaners on this one when it comes to it as well, mm -hmm. because like you stopped me for no offence I'll commit. Are you under the influence or are you under the or not? No, you, what you makes you think that? Your eyes are all the pinpoint of a tool, so. Oh really? Now I'm going to make you look a little bit silly, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so. Hang on. Maybe, maybe before you make accusations. What? Okay. I say one of the signs. Of, a, one I, of the signs of someone. Hey, you know, wait, wait, you know, I'm talking now, mm -hmm. right? I suffer from multiple sclerosis. Okay. So I take medication. That's fine. So maybe next time, before you start making one of the world things, accusations, ask if someone's on any medication before you start saying things like that. I, this one's I require the best you one to provide them. you with a sample of breath which I'm on private. And this moment gives me the ideal opportunity to correct some myths about breath tests. Namely, whether or not the specimen giver is entitled to choose what type of specimen they give, be it blood, urine or breath. The short answer is no, you cannot choose. Refusal to provide a specimen of breath at the roadside, even where the driver is willing to take the full test at the station, can be charged as failure to cooperate with a preliminary test. Failure to provide two specimens of breath at the station is also an offence. You cannot blow into a tube for a genuine medical reason. That might be a workable defence in court, but it will still be up to the police to decide whether or not they'll permit you to take an alternative blood or urine test. Because I have a slight tremor because of my MS, they're now sort of accusing my eyes of being pupil. So, you know, you know, the next thing they're going to ask for is will be a drug wipe. Thank you, sir. Right. From, uh, so I've got to hold the machine yeah. and I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath, blow into the machine until yeah. I've stopped, okay, you just stop, yeah? yeah? All right, thank you. So here you go. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Thank you, that's it. Okay, zero, fantastic. Perfect. Do you want to grab the tube there? Just so everyone can see. Yeah, zero. A zero, thank you very much. Okay. Well, that, that popped your balloon for starters, didn't it? I've hey? committed a moving traffic offence, therefore we're empowered to make sure you weren't under the influence of anything. I haven't committed it. You're accusing me of doing okay. it, which, which I'll take to court. Okay. Then you've got no evidence of. That's fine. So, I'll, I'll take where my colleagues asked me to come and join them. That's what I'm doing. No, I asked for a sergeant. You're not a sergeant. Uh, no, I, I've been well, asked... You're not going to get a sergeant, due, sir. Due to your behaviour, sir, my colleagues asked for another unit to come and join him for his safety. That's what I'm doing. I've got no behaviour and I've recorded it and I'll provide that evidence in and court. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be yeah, you didn't record us. beforehand and I've recorded well, beforehand. Everything I do has been recorded, so... Good job, I've got a good solicitor as well. Mm -hmm. That's fine, I hope we have, sir. Do you want to do the drug swipe as well? I'll oh. decide if I do a drug swipe, sir, thank you. Because I'd love to show you up on that one as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once again, show clear, there's nothing wrong with me with drugs, alcohol, clean driver, always have been. Here's your license, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, of course. So, at risk of offending all the authoritarians out there, a police officer in uniform is always a stranger. And dare I say it, some of them have bad intent. As you don't know which of those is likely to have that bad intent, it would be in your best interest to assume it of them all. That is why it's your duty to uphold your civil rights in the face of oppressive authority, to question their motives 
and correct them whenever they need correcting. And while you're at it, why not catch it on video, as this gentleman does, so I can upload it for your entertainment on YouTube.